Uh, hello, my, my name is Christian Roldan. I work for Produan. So um, I am the, the PaaS lead engineer for the Global PaaS uh, service. Uh, so uh, let me introduce what is Produan. Produan is a global company. We belong to the Santander Group. Santander is um, one of the most important bank in Europe, also in South America. In Produan, we are more than uh, 5,000 uh, professionals in nine countries. We are in, in, in Spain, in Germany, the United States, uh, in Argentina, Chile, uh, Mexico, Brazil. Okay. So uh, in this slide, I, I, will, I would like to talk about what is the relationship between Dev and Ops in a traditional uh, IT. In general, in a bank, the, the relationship is not good. <laughs> so in our case, we, we are uh, two companies, one for the operation and another for the development. So that is a really, really is a, is a, is a big problem. Uh, uh, Devs and Ops uh, uh, works in silos in general. Uh, uh, when there are uh, big problems in production, in general, <laughs> the ops uh, says, oh, the problem is on the Java code. And the development uh, says, eh, no, no, the problem is with the database, the problem is with the proxy, the problem is with the application server, the problem is on the, the west, side, west side. So uh, these are the, the most common problems in a traditional IT, IT company. Well, the, the, in general, the devs sometimes doesn't know or understand the, the, the ops uh, environment complexity. In a bank, we have a lot of components. Uh, there are a lot of components that are interconnected. So it's really, really complex to, to understand. The same for the, the ops. The ops, in general, when we receive a, a new application, for us, is a, the application is a black box. We, 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 doesn't know anything about the, the, the runtime, how to uh, tune the application, how to configure the application, and that's uh, another, another problem. Uh, lacks, uh, lack, uh, lacks of communication between devs and, and ops, uh, that uh, is another uh, big, big problem. And dev and ops have different objectives in our case. As I told you, we are, we, we are two different companies, one for production and another for development. So what, what were the reasons to adopt uh, DevOps in, in, in our uh, company in general? These are the, the, the most uh, common reasons, what share, the same, share the, the same tools for Dev and Ops, um, increase collaboration between Dev and Ops, uh, reduce deployment time, uh, minimize environment differences, improve time to market, platform tools, automate deployment tasks, provide a global service, reduce infrastructure and operation costs. That is one of the most important topic, one of the most important uh, reason. Continuous delivery also is another important uh, reason why we uh, decide to adopt uh, the both approach improve resolution uh, time, and also more time available to add value, continuous improvement, okay? So, uh, um, in order to adopt this, this, uh, this um, uh, uh, DevOps approach in Product One, we decided to create a service called Global Pass Service for DevOps. This service is based on uh, OpenShift Enterprise version three, and let's see the, the current status of this, this project. We have deployed the global pass uh, in, uh, that is based on OpenShift Enterprise. We have deployed this, uh, the, the OpenShift in different uh, regions. We are in, in Mexico and Spain. In Spain, we have two data, two data centers and also in UK. In the next two weeks, will finish the Brazil regions. All the OpenShift are deployed on-premise, are deployed on a Red Hat on OpenStack version Juno. This is our uh, global pass uh, architecture. 
we we have um, we have a, a layer of uh, a load balancers. We have uh, also uh, three availability, availability zones for um, on OpenStack. We have uh, a set of HA proxies for uh, applications. Uh, another set of uh, uh, a load balancer for the uh, OpenShift console. Another uh, a load balancer for the S3 service. We, the next layer is the OpenShift master. Uh, we have a cluster, a uh, cluster of masters in uh, different regions. Uh, uh, in the same uh, OpenShift uh, master, we uh, we deploy the um, the master service and also the ATCD service. Uh, the next layer is the uh, OpenShift infrastructure nodes. We deploy. Uh, routers and also the Hakula service. Okay, we are not using the the, the um, OpenShift registry. Okay, we use an external an external uh, Docker registry. Um, for the, the the next layer is the the OpenShift node. Here we and it, it is where we run the, the the applications, the containers. We have two kind of uh, nodes, one, one for production, another for non-production uh, applications. Uh, we also deploy a Ceph cluster. The Ceph is used for Docker uh, persistent uh, volumes. Uh, we also have a, a monitoring uh, system for the infrastructure. We, we use a uh, uh, wild introscope from CA. For the um, cloud, uh, uh, OpenShift cluster management, we, we are planning to use CloudForm, but at the moment we don't use CloudForms, but uh, our idea is to use in the near future. For the log management, we uh, have a cluster of Elasticsearch. We send all the infrastructure logs to this uh, central uh, log repository. Uh, we uh, use a jump host. From this uh, host, we deploy the, the global pass infrastructure, and also we manage the OpenShift cluster from this, from this node. We deploy a monitoring solution for the applications. We use a, a, a wild introscope, and uh, we have an external Docker registry in each uh, region, and uh, we have a data lake for the application logs. All the container standard output and standard error are sent to these data lakes. Uh, our idea is to use this data lake not only for the container logs, also for the, the metering logs, HTTP access log, etc. Okay, we the, this uh, cluster, this OpenShift cluster, uh, uses uh, external services for DNS, NTP. We use satellite for package management, also for configuration management. All the installation is made by Ansible uh, um, and Puppet for configuration. Um, um, in order to improve the, the um, DevOps uh, productivity, we found that uh, the OpenShift console is, is good but it's not enough. So we decided to create some, uh, some tools around OpenShift. So the idea is to introduce uh, some, uh, some tools that we have coded in Product One. Well, this is the first tool. This, this is the uh, status page. From this, uh, using this, this uh, tool, we can get the, the, the uh, cluster status. For instance, here we, we have the the, the master service, uh, we can get the routers, the F3, the CEF, etc. Also, we uh, can uh, see the status for uh, every uh, production non, uh, nodes and also from non production uh, uh, nodes. This is the, the issues and changes uh, portal. We, uh, we uh, publish all the issues, we publish all the changes in this, in this portal. 
if the, the change or the issue is really critical, we send an email to all the, to all the customers. For instance, here we, uh, this is the OpenShift upgrade to version 3.2. Uh, this is the uptime service. We have different uh, views for the uptime. We, uh, for instance, this is the monthly view. Uh, we have the information, the uptime for every month. And also, if you click in this red cycle, you can get the uh, issues and uh, changes for that, that, for that month. This is a very interesting tool for the uh, DevOps, DevOps team. For, uh, this is another um, a, a view that is, this is daily view. We can get uh, the uptime for every day. For, for us, uh, measuring and monitoring is, uh, is really, uh, uh, um, uh, it's really critical. We, uh, m m we get uh, metrics for all the OpenShift comp components. We get in general the uptime, the response time. And uh, we use this uh, uptime, this information. Uh, 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 this information is, is, is used to uh, calculate the service level agreement for, the, for our customers. We have another service, very interesting service, called the notification service. This is a, a public service. Every um, Santander employee can subscribe to this service if you want to get information about issues, changes in our uh, platform. You can subscribe. It, it, is, uh, it is published, it's a public service. For instance, you, we have different channels. For instance, change and issues, newsletters, uh, Docker, corporate e images, and also we have a, a global pass portal where we publish tutorials, uh, uh, touch notes, etc. We also uh, provide all this information via the REST. Uh, anyone can, can get the information through the REST API. So what is the uh, customer opinion about uh, the global pass service? In general, the opinion is really excellent. The, the, the customer um, 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 are, uh, feel very comfortable with, uh, with the OpenShift. OpenShift version 3.2 uh, 3 is very sta stable. We have more or less uh, 3,000 containers in, in production. Um, uh, so in general, uh, 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 the opinion is really, uh, really excellent. So this is the, the <laughs> DevOps global team uh, uh, behind the, the global pass service. We are a, a, a group of professionals from different countries, from UK, from Brazil, from Spain. And we are also working with two uh, professionals, consultants from, from Red Hat. That's all. Many thanks.